Okay, guys. Uh, we are going to start with listening module, listening part one. There are ten questions here, and uh, if you're looking for a reasonable band score, then try to get ten out of ten in listening, because you know you cannot afford to lose a couple of marks here. Reasonable band score means seven, so you should try to get ten out of ten in the listening part. Uh, first of all, <clears throat> you should see. what is the type of questions as they mentioned complete the notes below so from this sentence we understand that the type of questions that we have is notes completion right after that uh the next instruction is write one word and or a number so that means your answer will contain one num one word or and or a number means one word plus number or only one word or only number <clears throat> okay transport survey just switch on your imagination and think that they are going to talk about some transport survey transport survey means uh, they will ask you some questions about the public transport how that is if there are any problems or anything like that you will mention so transport survey means one person will interview and the other person will reply are you satisfied with the transport system no i'm not okay how often do you take buses so it's going to be like that if you visualize you can understand the audio better and you will not be distracted students often complain that we can't pay attention to the audio our attention is diverted so when you don't visualize then your attention will be diverted if in the mind you have canada and you are doing the audio about something else so you can't do it right so just try to think about cars buses survey and the characters that talk in the audio you need to visualize those characters also if there is a girl she says my name is julia think about julia wearing red dress having a nice hairstyle if he says my name is john just imagine john a big bulky fellow with big eyes and big mouth and large teeth and all that okay so you need to imagine those characters <clears throat> now example thing is removed last year in 2019 they removed examples they removed page number reference now they only call it part 1 listening part 1 in the old times they used to call it section 1 Okay question number 1 is very simple it's the name and the last name first name is given last name is missing and if the name is unusual they will spell it for you right i play the audio listen carefully and then you got to write this answer excuse me yes i wonder if you could spare a few minutes to do a survey on transport it won't take long uh, no that's fine oh lovely The survey is on behalf of the local council. They'd like to know about what transport you use and any suggestions for improvement. Uh, can I start by asking you how you travel to town today? Sure, I came on the bus. Great. Now, can I get a few details about yourself? Okay. What's your name? It's Louisa. Yes. Hardy. Can you spell that, please? Yes, it's H A R D I E. So Hardy H A R D I E not A okay H A Hardy how how do you spell Hardy H A R D I or H A R D Y if otherwise you do it okay so A will not come that is Harda Harda can be a uh, Punjabi yeah but Hardy is English so H A R D I E question number 2 dash white stone road whenever they name the road there can be a number before that for example 32 white stone road 36 white stone road now please listen carefully white stone road great thanks and can i have your address it's 19 white stone road oh right i know that area it's bradfield isn't it that's right <laughs> So, nineteen or ninety? Sure, yes. good. One nine. So you will write nineteen as a number, okay, not as a word. 
very good that's a good start question number three postcode very simple postcode contains alphabet and numbers right so I mean for example let me tell you one thing uh, one is a number and one million with all the zeros that is also a number so don't worry that okay there are so many numbers how can it be one number so when they said word and number so it can be any now for postcode they might use alphabet it can be the combination of alphabet and the numbers so you can write it all but together it will be one word right let's play this question number three is the postcode gt7 it's actually gt8 2lc great gt7 yeah she said is the code gt7 she said it's gt8 to 2lc that's right i mean if you've written the right answer you should yell that this is the right answer so gt8 2lc occupation now the occupation it's very simple occupation of the lady what does she do right let's see and could I ask what your job is? Are you a student? I've actually just finished my training. I'm a hairdresser. Oh, right. I'm a hairdresser. So you will write hairdresser as one word. Hairdresser. Clear? Very good. And your spelling must be correct. Question number five. Reason for visit the town to go to the dash. Now, reason for visit, shopping or any other reason right so she there might be a trap I usually come for shopping but now I have come for so reason for visit the town purpose let's see and one more question in this section what is the reason for you coming into town today actually it's not for shopping today which would be my normal <sighs> reason uh, but to see the dentist right thanks dentist exactly I'm here to see the dentist so reason uh, for the visit of town to go to the dentist. Dentist will be the answer. Very good. That's a nice start. Question number six. Suggestions for improvement. So there are three suggestions. First is better. And one more question in this section. Better dash. For better they can use any synonym. But whatever they say after that. That will be the answer. Right. So let's see. Now, in this last section, I'd like you to give us some ideas about the facilities and arrangements in the city for getting to and from work. Mm -hmm. um, any suggestions you have for improvements? Well, something I've thought about for some time is that when I do walk mm. and I'm doing a later shift, I think the lighting should be better. Yes, good point. Night shift? Lighting, exactly. Lighting should be better or better lighting. Clear? Good. Let's go on. Question number seven. After have more footpaths, question number seven is more frequent dash. More frequent means number of. For example, more frequent buses means they need to increase the number of buses or the schedule of buses. So more frequent, right? Let's see what is that. And of course, I think it's a real shame they've been cutting down on the number of footpaths. They should have more of those. Mm. Then people would walk more. Yes, right. And I don't think there are enough trains. That's why I don't use them. You have to wait so long. Thanks. Trains. I don't think they have enough trains. So more frequent trains. That's the suggestion. Very good. Now, please come to the next page. Things that would encourage cycling to work. Question number eight. Now, it's all about cycling to work. Question number eight. Having dash parking places for bicycle. Having suitable parking places or anything like that. Now, the answer is related to parking places. They can say that parking places which are suitable. Parking places which are suitable means suitable parking places, right? Let's do it. 
And finally, I'd like to ask your opinion on cycling. As you may know, there's a drive in the city to get more people to cycle to work. Right. But we realise that there are things which the council, but also employers, might do to help encourage workers to cycle to work. Yeah. Well, I have thought about it. And um, where I work, there are no safe places to leave your bikes. Okay. Safe. There are no safe places to leave your bike. So parking places and leave your bike. There are no safe places to leave your bike. I play this audio again. Please focus. And finally, I'd like to ask your opinion on cycling. As you may know, there's a drive in the city to get more people to cycle to work. Right. But we realise that there are things which the council, but also employers, might do to help encourage workers to cycle to work. Yeah. Well. I have thought about it, and um, where I work, there are no safe places to leave your bikes. Okay. There are no safe places to leave your bike. So this is how they talk, actually. Question number nine: Being able to use a dash at work. Now she will describe a problem, and then she will say there could be or there should be dash at work. Right? Being able to use a dash at work. So for being able, they can use the word can. Right? There should be something where you can and after can, they can be answer. Anyways. And also, I'd have to cycle uphill and on a hot day, I'd arrive at work pretty sweaty. So, I think I'd need a shower somewhere at work. Oh, right. I need a shower at work. So, being able to use a shower at work. Shower. Yeah, not be shower. <laughs> okay. Let's go on. Uh, now, you might think that this audio is fast. It's actually fluent. This is how they talk. Question number 10. The opportunity to have cycling on busy roads. Opportunity means they should provide cycling on busy roads. They should provide something which is related to cycling on busy road. Now, what is it that they should provide to do cycling on busy roads? That will be the answer. Let's just see. And I suppose the last thing is that I wouldn't be all that confident about cycling on such busy roads. Mm. I think I'd like to see you offering training for that. You know, I'd feel a lot better about starting if that was the case. Well, that's very helpful. Uh, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Bye. So, training. Exactly. Training for cycling and all that. Okay, so this is uh, part one. Uh, there were a couple of tricky questions and they add those tricky questions so that you don't get 10 out of 10, but you should deal with these tricky questions. And again, I'm telling you, if you are targeting seven band in listening or more than seven, then at least in part one listening, there should not be any mistake. Try to get 10 out of 10, right? Okay. <laughs>